When we think of the SCP Foundation, we imagine dangerous anomalies and for good reason. Many of them only want to kill us and cause as much damage to our world as possible. Not all are hostile in nature, however, and some of them are even friendly towards us. In this SCP exploration episode we present you part 2 of our top 5 friendly SCPs list. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of our upcoming exploring SCP videos and very soon we are exploring yet another famous SCP origin. Number 5. SCP-3892 Object Class Safe SCP-3892 is a child's blanket, colored black and red and patterned with cartoon skulls. Fiber analysis has revealed it is made of non-anomalous cotton polyester blend. SCP-3892's anomalous properties manifest when it is worn by a sleeping child of age 10 or under. Once the subject has reached the earliest sleep phase, SCP-3892-1 will manifest within 10 meters of the blanket, typically within a closet or hallway. SCP-3892-1 is a large, approximately 2.3 meters or 7 foot 6 inches tall skeletal humanoid figure dressed in a spiked leather jacket, torn denim trousers and black motorcycle boots. SCP-3892-1's eye sockets contain yellow lights and luminous smoke can be seen issuing from its mouth and ribcage. Upon manifesting, the skeleton will silently approach the target. The air temperature within a 10 meter radius will warm to approximately 27 degrees Celsius or around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. SCP-3892-1 will then tuck the subject into bed, whispering good night and the name of the child, gently kiss the subject on the head and then demanifest. SCP-3892-1 has neither harmed nor awakened any children during testing and instantly demanifests if approached or interrupted. However, during a test, SCP-3892-1 looked directly into a testing chamber camera after kissing the subject, growled and said, I know where you sleep. The skeleton then loudly cracked each of its knuckles and demanifested as normal. The entity has not responded to any attempt at communication by Foundation personnel before or since this event. As such, the significance of this event is still unknown. However, the entity's appearance, judging from the motorcycle boots, spiked leather jacket and jeans, very much reminds us of a biker participating in a biker gang. And let's not forget that the entity takes care of young children, tucking them in and kissing them goodnight. This very much reminds us of a biker gang that specializes in taking care of children, bikers against child abuse. This would also be consistent with what SCP-3892-1 says after tucking in the specific child, and probably means the child is abused in some way. If the entity really is a part of Bikers Against Child Abuse, then the group has definitely stepped up its game, now recruiting anomalous entities. Let's be grateful that the entity has agreed to take part in this organization and not, let's say, in the Chaos Insurgency. Number 4. SCP-208 Object Class – Safe SCP-208 appears to be a short man of Egyptian heritage, possessing a great deal of hair over his body. Along his brow is a mane similar to a lion's, which grows down to a beard. SCP-208 typically wears an Egyptian tunic, similar to that of typical Old Kingdom military. The entity is capable of inducing rapid cellular regeneration within life forms, which amounts to the ability to quickly heal most physical illness. This is performed by a form of electromagnetic radiation released from SCP-208's body, which expands in four dimensions rather than three. Furthermore, the energy of the radiation decays over distance in a fashion incompatible with the inverse squared model which all known electromagnetic waves decay in. Personnel have noted that being near SCP-208 provokes a feeling of wellness and ease, making him quite popular with the security staff. This radiation also possesses the ability of wandering off ill intent, to the point of acting as a physical barrier to naturally malicious beings. 
Despite his appearance, SCP-208 is pleasant and friendly to staff and enjoys the company of others. Due to his good behavior and willingness to cooperate, SCP-208 has been permitted access to most common areas within Site-17. Known to most staff as Bess, SCP-208 has been adopted as an assistant in the medical wing of Site-17, a position he seems to have fit into naturally. SCP-208 is also fond of children, and has been noted to be very protective of what he considers the innocent. SCP-208 was originally discovered in Egypt along the Nile River. While SCP agents began digging into sediment in the Nile Delta, a doctor spotted a foot sticking out of the riverbed. Further excavation revealed that it was connected to a great block of granite. SCP-208 was exhumed from the stone after surprising a researcher who discovered that he was still alive. Based on its capabilities, sending waves in four dimensions and healing diseases telepathically, SCP-208 can certainly be called godlike. And if we search the word Bess, we find this is the name of an ancient Egyptian deity worshipped as a protector of households, mothers and children. And the deity was often depicted wearing a soldier's tunic, so as to appear ready to launch an attack on any approaching evil. And this certainly matches perfectly with the anomaly's behavior, which is also fond of children, protects the innocent, and dresses in the same way. So we are dealing with an ancient Egyptian god that protects the innocent. Because of this, SCP-208 certainly deserves to be on our top 5 friendly SCPs list. Number 3. SCP-955 Object Class – Safe SCP-955 is a species of creatures, approximately 42 inches or 110 centimeters long, and feature a bulbous head resembling that of a deep sea fish, a large mouth surrounded by lash-like appendages, two eyes on crests at the top of the head, a large single antenna-like organ between the eyes, fin-like protuberances near the back of the head, and a long segmented body plan featuring multiple pairs of legs. If startled or threatened, the organism will emit a shrieking cry, then project a viscous mucus in several directions and attempt to burrow into the ground. The mucus is corrosive to metals and most organic materials, and contains a toxin which makes skin contact very painful. SCP-955 possesses intelligence comparable to that of a dog. The organisms are curious, highly social and playful, and are often discovered by humans in wooded areas. The organisms, attracted by social activity, will rapidly approach the humans while wriggling their facial organs and emitting a hissing sound. Study of SCP-955's behavior suggests that these sounds signal excitement and a desire to interact in a friendly manner. When the humans who encounter instances of SCP-955 react with alarm or violence, the organisms will exhibit the threat response behavior noted above. Should an SCP-955 instance remain calm and abstain from emitting mucus, dogs and children under the age of 7 do not perceive its appearance to be alarming or threatening. Young children, in particular, have been observed to enjoy interacting with SCP-955, often including maintaining close physical contact with them or handling them. The specimen depicted in the photograph, together with several other species, was encountered by kindergarten pupils in a redacted day school in Connecticut. The pupils successfully interacted with the instances for several days until a mixed group of pupils and adults encountered them as well, which unexpectedly resulted in disaster. Despite their defensive reaction, SCP-955 instances are very playful and friendly, should an individual remain calm. We can add them to the list of potential pets that the SCP Foundation can offer, together with SCP-131, which we explored in part 1 of this video. Number 2. SCP-3982 Object Class – Safe SCP-3982 is an entity resembling a decomposed corpse. Portions of its body are comprised of living non-human organic matter, including tree branches, mushrooms and insect hives. 
SCP-3982 tools diet consists of decomposed plant matter and it will consume it by either inserting it into its mouth or by absorbing it through its chest cavity. These food items include animal waste, decaying vegetable matter, corpses and pollutants such as oil and radioactive waste. After feeding, SCP-3982 will produce spores, fruit and seeds of a wide variety of species from its body and scatter them as it travels. The entity will also occasionally lie down and become dormant for brief periods of time after a large meal. SCP-3982 is capable of speech and has displayed fluency in every language utilized by researchers thus far. It possesses a docile, friendly, relatively unintelligent and somewhat childlike personality and has reacted to the presence of researchers with curiosity. Naturally, the entity was interviewed to help learn more about its origins. During the interview, it appears very friendly and reaches into its vegetation and offers the researcher an apple. The researcher then asks the anomaly to describe itself. Instead, bees exit the entity and land on flowers on its back. SCP-3982 then asks if they can be friends. When inquired where it comes from, it answers saying the glade. When asked what the glade is, the entity stands up and multiple unidentified birds emerge from its body, flying to other parts of the enclosure. The entity also says it was sent up here by a baron and lord Greywing. When asked to provide further details, SCP-3982 says, quote, Lord Greywing can fly with bird powers, and the baron loves the plants and other things, and he loves me. So the Baron and Greywing did a plan. I went way up because Greywings got all the magic. Then I wasn't in the glade anymore. But then I was up here and then I was eating up that super good man when those guys said hi and I said hi and now I'm here. I have so many friends now." End quote. So we are left with the impression that SCP-3982 originates from below Earth which explains its diet and ability to grow food on its body. But it certainly doesn't explain its friendliness, which is more than enough to earn it a spot on our top 5 friendly SCPs list. Number 1. SCP-4999 Object Class Keter SCP-4999 is a humanoid entity of unknown origin. Its physical appearance varies with dark formal wear being the only constant between manifestations. Due to the rarity of recorded SCP-4999 events, little data concerning its nature is available. However, its behavior appears consistent. SCP-4999 will manifest in the presence of one solitary human person at a time. All subjects recorded to date have been in terminally poor health, critically injured, or on their deathbeds, with SCP-4999 appearing nearby and within sight of the individual not more than 20 minutes before they die. SCP-4999 will only appear if the subject is conscious and alone. Upon manifestation, the entity will seat itself adjacent to the subject's bed, if such furniture is available. If not, it will remain standing or sit on the floor. Once situated, it will remove a pack of cigarettes from its left inside jacket pocket and offer one to the subject. If the subject accepts, SCP-4999 will place it between their lips, remove one for itself and light bolt. If the subject declines, SCP-4999 will smoke alone. The entity will make physical contact with the subject, typically via holding their hand, placing its hand atop theirs or resting its hand on their shoulder. It will then remain with the subject, silent and unmoving, until they have passed away. SCP-4999 has not been seen to engage in any other activity or behavior, and demanifests immediately upon the subject's death. No subject thus far has resisted the entity, or has attempted to engage it in conversation despite multiple instances of subjects acknowledging the entity's presence via eye contact, 
breaking into tears when noticing its presence, or verbally thanking the entity when offered a cigarette. Individuals affected by SCP-4999 share a number of common attributes, including living alone, having mental illness, having no surviving family, few to no mutual relationships, or qualities that have rendered them neglected or unremarkable by society. Testing of SCP-4999 is considered impossible, as observation of a subject meeting 4999's criteria stops the entity from appearing. Despite not saying much during its appearances, SCP-4999 provides comfort and company to lonely dying individuals, which is without a doubt very friendly. And once again we are left wishing we had more such SCPs and the SCP Foundation. This concludes part 2 of our top 5 friendly SCP list. So which one do you think is the most friendly SCP? If there were any other nice SCP creatures that you think should have been included in the list, don't hesitate to share them with us in the comments. Please make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, as we have many more interesting videos coming up in our SCP exploring series, such as SCP theory videos on some of the most dangerous SCP creatures in the SCP wiki, SCP containment breach gameplay videos, and more scary SCP videos. And as always, we will see you in the next video.